bitches with notches in hand. Learning my stitches or ashes from plans. Scratches from past when I couldn't withstand. Walking on fire and drowning in sand. Down in the sadness I found in the madness. The ground is the flattest when I am alone. Hey friend and welcome to my channel, I'm Angelique. So today I'm coming to you with a new unit. This one is going to be from the Sensational Butter Lace 90s Bangs Collection and it's in the style 90s Bangs Unit 903 and it's in the color number 2. So of course inside the stock card it's going to go into detail as far as the cap construction on this one and as far as the information when it comes to the 90s Bangs line. This one is going to be available in 5 special colors. So when you take this one out of the box, you are going to see you do get those cute little baby bangs going on right there in the front. And this one is going to come pre-plucked. For the inside of the cap construction, you are going to get two combs that are right in the front, right next to that curved C part parting space. And this one is going to be a right side part. In the back of the unit, you are going to get a comb in the back as well as your adjustable straps and an adjustable elastic band. And this one was made on a mesh wood cap. So first I'm just going to go in with my liquid foundation and then put this on my makeup sponge and then I'm going to start applying this to the inside of the lace. So that's what it's looking like after I've put that on the lace and now I'm just going to put it on the wig head and give you guys a 360 to show you what it's looking like. This is going to be a long one you guys. The length is going to be 25 inches and then I just wanted to bring it in a little bit closer and show you what the hairline is looking like if you were to go in and comb those bangs into the unit. It looks pretty good but I think you may want to go in and pluck it out if you don't plan on using these bangs at all. They plucked it just enough, but if you want more of that realistic scalp action, you may want to go in and kind of pluck some of these baby hairs out. So now I'm just going in and clipping the hair back so that I can start cutting the lace off. Of course, first I'm just going to go in with my embroidering scissors and start cutting the lace from around the perimeter of the ear tabs. And then I'm cutting the lace from the other side of the ear tab. And I like to do this before I go in and start creating those slits that I always do prior to going in with my pinking shears. And this just makes it easier so that when I go in with my pinking shears, since they are definitely on the bulkier side, it makes it easier to work around the perimeter of cutting the lace off. These are going to be 18 millimeter scalloped pinking shears and I grabbed these from Amazon. So as you can see, now I'm just going in and removing cutting from those slits I created. And this just makes it easier, like I said, because it's these scissors are pretty bulky. So when you have the smaller slits created, it just makes it so much easier to maneuver around the perimeter of the hairline and keep that scalloped pattern going because it can be super hard to maintain that when you're going in cutting it off in one big chunk versus doing it in smaller sections. And now I'm just taking off those clips and showing you guys how it looks with the lace cut off. So now I'm just going to go in and start installing it on my head. Like I noted you guys, this is going to be a right side curved part. It's 25 inches so you can see that it's a long one. It does have these layered long curls. It's kind of giving me Letitia vibes if you were to add some bangs to Letitia. So I do like the look of it. Um, when it comes to the texture of it, it's not extremely yakky. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for like very, very yakky unit. This one may not be the one for you, but I do like the amount of yakky that they used in it. There's not any silkiness to this unit. It's more like a relaxed yakky if that makes sense. So I actually did like the texture on this one. So now I'm just going in and trying to get the edge together and give it a little bit of a baby hair look. Now I'm just going to go in with my foaming mousse and kind of press that down into the baby hair section to just make sure that it's slicked down the way that I want it to be slicked. And then combing that into the hairline so that it looks like I'm not doing too much, I'm doing just enough. 
One of the things that I do like when it comes to the butter lace collection is the fact that even though it is just a lace front, they do give you a little bit of lace in the front so you are able to finesse it and make it look more realistic for yourself. As you can see, I also had to go in with my Esha Melt and Slay spray just to make sure that these baby hairs are sticking down the way that I want them to and they're not flying in the wind all over the place. And like I showed you guys, you can style this one with or without the bangs. I wanted to do the bangs just so I could see what it looks like, but it also does look cute without them. If you are going to wear them without the bangs, like I said, I feel like you may want to go in and kind of pluck out the hairline a little bit more just to give it a little bit more realism. But if you're a beginner or if you're kind of lazy, I feel like you can absolutely just kind of get away with wearing it as is. Now I'm just going in with my eyeshadow from the Warrior 2 palette and putting that into the parting space. And then going back once again to the baby hairs to make sure that I have them all the way together. So that's what it would look like if you got the, the bangs combed back. Like I said, I feel like it's cute, but also it could be plugged out some more. But I really wanted to do the look with the bangs, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going and pulling them out. And I really like the density of the bang situation that they have going on. I like that it's not super dense. It's on the thinner side. And I know that they did that on purpose just so that you can comb them back, but it's also very cute for the look. And look at this, honey. Like I said, it's 25 inches. It's definitely a long one. It's coming well below my boobs. So this is going to be for the girls that like the longer hair. Now, as far as the density on this one, the density is pretty good. It's right in the middle. It's about 150%. So it's not too much, but it's not too thin either. It's not like I felt any tracks or anything like that. And the volume, especially from the front, honey, it looks super cute. And of course, I'm just going to go and show you guys a couple of different styles that I came up with this unit. Just to show you that just because you buy a lace rent doesn't mean you have to just wear it in the style that it comes. You can absolutely finesse it and make it work for yourself. And as you can see in the back, it's not super thin, so I absolutely was here for that. So when it comes to my cons and pros on this unit, I really can't say that I have any cons. Um, it gave what it was supposed to give. It looks just like it does on the stock card. Um, when it comes to my pros on this unit, I really do like this whole 90s vibe that they give you. And I like the fact that you can go in and tuck the baby hairs into the hairline if it's not working for you. And then just if you want to go ahead and pluck it out and make it look more realistic for yourself. I like the fact that I was able to wear it in different styles, even though, like I said, it is just a lace front, so you don't have that additional lace that you would get if you were to get a frontal. But I feel like the look as a whole is very cute. It's different, it's unique, and I really like the texture on this one. Like I said, it's not super, super heavy duty yakky, but it's more of a relaxed yakky. It was very easy to go from style to style. I got some snags here and there, a little bit of tingling and shedding, but nothing too crazy. I really like the fact that it fit my head perfectly, that I didn't need to wear it with any sort of um, adhesive on it. It just fit the way that it should be fitting. And like I said, it does have some stretch to it. As a whole, is this one I would get again? I think so, especially if I was going for a particular look. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is everyday hair at this length, but if you cut it down, you could absolutely make it work for yourself. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If it was, make sure you give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment down below any of the units you want to pick up in any of the colors, honey. And until then, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.